Did you hear of the latest Chrono Cross news? Square Enix released a new trailer merging together Chrono Cross and Another Eden, which is a mobile game downloadable on the mobile app stores. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction video to that trailer and also I'll give you my thoughts on what I think this new release of the Chrono Cross franchise will be and it might surprise you. Stick around to the end. So there's usually a book there, but now there's a compass. And I don't know if you remember, but back in the Chrono Cross introduction, it's usually an introduction of a story. So here it's just credits. I don't know if the compass has anything to do with another Eden, um, or maybe it's just the similarities between the concept of time. Glenn? Ooh, frozen flame. Kid. They removed one of her cheek paint swipes. Oh, Harlk is my favorite character. <laughs> Not so much a dragon, looks like a whale. Hey, that was intense. That was intense. I'm going to do a bit of rewinding because I do want to highlight a few things. So they have the frozen flame in here. And if anybody knows the story of the frozen flame, so the frozen flame is technically a chip off of Lavos's body. So Lavos was the main antagonist in the game. And it's also a merger with the Dreamstone. And if you play Chrono Trigger, you know that the Dreamstone is one of the key materials required to help create weapons to help destroy Lavos. And it also helps repair the Massamoon, um, which Glenn or Frog wields. I don't know if that's him. I'm gonna have to do a quick Google search to see if his attire matches. The Frozen Flame, it is so it destroyed Zeal back whenever Zeal collapsed. But in addition to that, it also, um, in Chrono Cross, the way that it plays a role is that it grants the owner wishes as well as immortality, like the common thing that all video game products do. But um, yeah, so that's kind of the basis of it. So it looks like it's somehow integrated into this storyline. And then also the characters that they brought in. So it looks like they brought in... So Surge... Is that Frog? I have no idea. Harl Quinn, which is my favorite character. <laughs> my email, my grade 5 email that I still use today is actually like her ultimate attack. Don't send an email there, please. But yeah, she's definitely my favorite character. I loved her. They brought her in. So this is, her name is Fain uh, or Fain. Tomato, tomato. I don't know. But she is the secondary main character to another Eden. And then the guy there is Aldo, and he's the main character. And it looks like from this trailer, he's also the main character of this game too. Just because he's kind of taking a step in front of Surge. 
So I'm assuming he's going to be the main guy. And I don't see Lynx. I think I saw a reference of Lynx somewhere, but Lynx is not... Like, he's nowhere to be found in this trailer, so I don't even think he's going to be making an appearance. This is a sword that Aldo can only wield. That's kind of who his background character is. I mean, if we think about the Chrono Cross opening back in 2000, it's, I mean, there's nothing creative to it, right? Other than the soundtrack, which is very compelling, and they just kind of wash and recycled the soundtrack here. But it's just an amalgamation of all the cutscenes in the game. <laughs> There's no clever directing of, you know, a new introduction to the game. It's just bringing together those clips. And also cutscenes were almost like a, like an added bonus when you play games. You're just like, oh, a cutscene's coming. Like, everybody shut up. Cutscene's coming. So I think because the cutscenes were done really well, they just kind of brought them together. So there's really no direction there. But this whole reintroduction has, has been melted together with thought. So I'm just trying to really break down why they're bringing in certain elements from Chrono Cross or um, from another Eden and just trying to piece it together. Okay, so just doing a bit more research, it seems as though that's not Glenn, unfortunately. It's Cyrus, who is one of the characters from another Eden. I mean, the name itself, Cyrus, that's Glenn's ex-best friend or best friend, dead best friend, who used to wield the Massive Moon. So, I mean, you could kind of see some similarities there. I almost think that they did this on purpose because it's the same makers, the same character creators. So they almost kind of retained, keep that continuity and tie the brands together. Looking at the number of playable characters you can get, what does it look similar to? So Chrono Cross, you have like an abundance of playable characters. A little bit too much in my opinion, but you know who the main characters are, of course, but you just get the ability to kind of play with everybody. So I think that's almost how this game is laid out. Again, I haven't played it. I will play and I'll, I'll put out another review around it. But my overall conclusion of what this game is going to be like, I don't know if it's going to be anything exciting. I'll, I'll say that. First and foremost, I almost think that they are just adding Surge, Kid, and Harlequin as a playable character. That, that's all. And I would say just elements of the Chrono Cross storyline that they can technically kind of bake in to another Eden. That's my anticipation. I wouldn't put it past them if they actually did that. I mean, knowing Square Enix, they love doing mobile games for some reason. I'm sure they do their research and they figure out there's a large market for it. On obviously, the Chrono series is a lot larger in Japan than it is in North America. Am I gonna play it? Probably not. I mean, I'll, I'll try it out. I actually downloaded another Eden today. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good game. I don't even know if I'll stay on it. I mean, usually mobile games I'll fall off of just because I don't like gaming on my phone. I prefer gaming on the old school consoles or on a PC. Also, I know they're doing a really big push on another Eden right now. They're trying to boom their YouTube channel. They've been pushing it really hard on the App Store. So I almost feel as though they're just trying to reinvest more value into the game by introducing more players, by tying in a very popular franchise such as Chrono Cross. But let me know what you think down below. Do you think it's going to be a new addition to their mobile game? Or do you think it's going to be a brand new chapter in the Chrono series? I'll end this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.